Where are they? Who? The committee. We are it. Who's the new head of the investigation? You. Congratulations, Colonel. Well, actually, I'm a general now. I don't have my insignia yet, but they are on order. Congratulations, General. You are a colonel. Congratulations, Colonel. Now, sit down. Let's get started. I'm now the prefect of militia for the entire oblast, reporting only to Moscow. I can allocate resources any way I see fit, and I am considering this case my highest priority. You need men, you need publicity, you need communications, you have it. I got these in Moscow yesterday. They're fantastic. You have a telephone appointment tonight at midnight to speak with the head of the FBI's serial murder task force, Special Agent Bickford. He told me late last night that he has been following your work on this case with great interest for about five years. I didn't ask him how. He considers you a man of iron will. For what it's worth, I concur. Um, he, he also told me that he rotates his people off serial murder cases every 18 months, whether they like it or not, to prevent the inevitable psychological consequences of too much frustration. I, I pretended that I had known that all along. He thinks that I pushed you and pushed you in search of your limits until I realized that you didn't have any. Privately, I offer my deepest apologies to you and your wife. I hope that someday you can forgive me my ignorance. Anyway, uh, he suggested I not tell you this next, but he said that he starts a new group of recruits through the program every 16 weeks. And the first lecture that he gives is always about you. He calls you the one man in the world that he would least like to have after him. An intelligent, methodical, painstaking, passionate detective who would rather die than give up. Again, I concur. Colonel Burakov, I am sorry. You may go. <laughs> 